What is NATO? NATO stands for North Atlantic Treaty Organization. NATO is an intergovernmental military alliance based on the signing of the Washington Treaty the in Washington 1949. The Washington Treaty reads, The parties to this treaty affirm their faith in the purposes and principles of the Charter of the United Nations and their desire to live in peace with all other peoples and all governments. They are determined to safeguard the freedom, common heritage, and civilization of their peoples. Founded on the principles of democracy, individual liberty, and the rule of law. They seek to promote stability and well-being in the North Atlantic area. They are resolved to unite their efforts for collective defense and for the preservation of peace and security. They therefore agree to the North Atlantic Treaty. The goal of NATO is to safeguard the freedom and securities of all members by either political or military force if required. NATO is a principal security instrument of the transatlantic community and expresses its democratic values. There are 28 member countries in NATO. Albania, Belgium, Bulgaria, Canada, Croatia, the Czech Republic, Denmark, Estonia, France, Germany, Greece, Hungary, Iceland, Italy, Latvia, Lithuania, Luxembourg, the Netherlands, Norway, Poland, Portugal, Romania, Slovakia, Slovenia, Spain, the United Kingdom, and the United States of America. There are 14 articles in the Washington Treaty. Two of the more important ones are Articles 4 and 5. They follow. Article 4. The parties will consult together whenever, in the opinion of any of them, the territorial integrity, political independence, or security of any of the parties is threatened. Article 5. The parties agree that an armed attack against one or more of them in Europe or North America shall be considered an attack against them all, and consequently they agree that if such an armed attack occurs, each of them in exercise of the right of individual or collective self-defense recognized by Article 51 of the Charter of the United Nations will assist the party or parties so attacked by taking forth with individually and in concert with the other parties such action as it deems necessary including the use of armed force to restore and maintain the security of the North Atlantic area. Any such armed attack and all measures taken as a result thereof shall immediately be reported to the Security Council. Such measures shall be terminated when the Security Council has taken the measures necessary to restore the, and maintain international peace and security. Many might ask why NATO is important. It is important because it is strength in numbers. The more allies you have, the bigger the military power. It is also important because after World War II, it was a way to ensure protection from threat. To sum it up, NATO helps keep us safe, it makes our military bigger and stronger, it helps keep the peace among other countries, and it helps counter terrorism. U.S. forces arrive in Estonia as the crisis in Ukraine continues. 150 paratroopers from the 173rd Infantry Brigade were the latest of 600 U.S. deployed forces to arrive in the Baltic region on Monday. Joining their NATO allies in Poland, Lithuania and Latvia, the soldiers from this rapid reaction U.S. combat team will be conducting joint training exercises with their Baltic colleagues, providing reassurance to the Estonian people who share a border with Russia. As you can see from the previous video clip, tensions are rising in the Ukraine, so much so that NATO is getting involved. That is why I chose to do my presentation on NATO because it is relative at the moment. Check out the official NATO website if you want to learn more at www.nato.international.